Welcome to my channel. Today I am going to be planning in my new work planner. Um, yeah, I am switching from the eight and a half, not the eight and a half, the eight by ten Erin Condren softbound hourly to a Frankenplanned, I will say, uh, A5 horizontal and daily duo combined. So basically I Aaron Condren was having a 40% off sale. I think it's still on. I'm not sure. It was yesterday. Yesterday was Saturday the 20th. Today is Sunday the 20th. It was the 19th. Um, I've been wanting to try this. So since they were on sale, I went ahead and get, did it. So what I did is I've got the horizontal and the daily duo. So it came in three different sets. And what I did is I just uncoiled it and then put in the horizontal sections and then the dailies behind it. So I have a horizontal and a daily, basically monthly, weekly, and daily all in one and I split it up into quarters so that it would fit on the three discs, uh, the three discs, the three coils um, fairly easily since I use stickers and it has plenty of room so that's the plan I've been looking at the this idea like I've been wanting to do this for a while to have everything in like every layout in one in one spot so uh, that's what I'm going to do I have a kit that I'm going to be using I'm only going to do a uh, plan with me for the uh, like the weekly view um, and maybe just a quick setup of the days um, in this video. Um, I'm using a kit by uh, White Rose Printables. It's called Macchiato. It's basically a like cafe kit. And I thought it would be a good, like, not as, like, yeah, last week was like, today is like the first day of spring, but y'all, it's like snowing out. It's legit snow. We have snow in the forecast today. So I thought this would be a good sort of winter into spring kit without being like overtly spring. <laughs> like with all the florals and everything. It's still kind of in the sort of neutral brownie tones. So what I'm going to do is I am going to kind of do a of crisscross collage with these stickers. So yeah, I bought, I've been waiting to buy these two particular planners because um, well, at least this set of planners um, to try this way so that like if I don't like it I didn't wait like waste like all the money <laughs> I mean I've been looking at the um, what's it called the TPC nation um, it's like the planner collective nation or something like that but the TPC hybrid planner which has it looks amazing but it costs like 80 bucks with shipping for four months. And I thought if I tried this and I liked this, then I might consider using the TPC Nation for my um, personal side of things. Because it comes in B6 and um, a5 wide so but what's really cool is it has instead of having month week days it has month week day week day week day, like each week is separated and then instead of having it in blocked like this does does this ha kit have any date dots I don't think it does and so I'm just gonna try to Basically, what the 
overview of the week in the work planner is going to be essentially what I was doing with my um, softbound. Um, except I have found that I need more room for to-do lists and notes and whatnot. Um, but I thought, I'm like, I don't need, like, I don't, and I don't often, I don't use it every day. Like, I don't need a daily every day, really. Um, but the last couple of weeks... I've been like for the whole year you know what I mean like in my work planner I don't need the Saturday and Sunday so the original like when they had Saturday and Sunday on one day was perfect but now they have it separate so it's kind of like a waste of those pages but it is what it is so we're just gonna figure out how to do this so this is my my intention for how to use this is um, this is just going to be my sort of pre-plan slash notes like for each day so like if I, I think that's the, the intent my intention for this um, planner we, we we shall see how it goes <laughs> All right, there's that. And we got all of these, so we don't need that. So we wanna do, let's do these work headers. This will be nice. So, like underneath the date headers is going to be um, the big events I know. Like if I have a meeting or whatnot, will go underneath that section, and then the. I think I'm going to switch this color and this color. And then the um, the blank space will just be for like tasks. I know, like off the top of my head, they gave you gave me six work headers. Hmm, interesting. Usually it's only five. Okay. Um. So that's that. Do I want to put the weekend? Like, I know it's the weekend. <laughs> um, I might end up taking up these two headers and just have, like, these as notes page, page, pages, maybe? Um, let's see. I think I want to use this one that says this week here. And then I'm going to put these two habit trackers for um, my inbox zero and lunchtime walk. Um, this may or may not continue to be a thing on this page. We, we, we shall see. So I think I want to use these two pages. All right. So let's use this one. So I have a meeting on that day. Wednesday, I have another meeting. Let's go with this darker one. Thursday, I have a meeting as well. Uh, 
Friday nothing. We try not to do meetings on Fridays unless absolutely necessary. Is there any little... No, there's nothing I want to really use there. And then I'm going to use... Do I want to use these? No, I think I'll just use um, either checklist stencil. Let's see how this fits in here. Oh, let's see how this fits. Oh yeah, I like that better. Okay, that fits better than the boxes. So we will use this. I was going to use either um, my dots, my color dot markers, or um, checklist stencil, but these will work. This is going to be an interesting experiment on how I'm going to use these different spreads throughout the week because like some days I really do need the daily and some days I don't it's just it is what it is I think I don't I think we're just gonna leave those two blank and we'll, we'll, we'll see how that goes so that is that do I want to put this washi up at the top? Or would it be too much? Let me just... Um, I think I'm just gonna leave it be with the flowers. Maybe use it elsewhere on my dailies. Okay, so let's flip over to the dailies. Here we are. What I really like about the TPC Nation one is it has like the da like a column, a vertical column, like the dailies, like not like the dailies, like a normal vertical. And then it has an hourly that has like real like a lot, a lot more. This only goes from 6 a.m. to 7 p.m. But it has, um, I think I want to say it's 6 a.m. to like 10 p.m on it and then it has a section for journaling so there's like three columns which I really really like in the TPC Nation so that like I'm really tempted to get that to combine all of my um, my various planners into one planner so I'm going to go ahead and mark off my work hours on here And I will say this is, I, I'm not sure if this is the same paper as the seven by nines, but it's definitely different quality than the soft bounds, which I find interesting. Like, why would you bother using different paper <laughs> and like different formats? Like, you know, like why, why? From going from like the seven seven by nine to eight by ten, like why didn't they just make it a the same size? I, I don't know, but yeah, I was just finding that I needed more room than the hourly was giving me. So like that's Saturday. I was just going on ahead, wasn't I? All right. I'm just gonna go ahead and plan Monday and we shall see how it goes from there. 
So Monday. So the only thing is these are not <laughs> sized correctly. Um, then I have where are the here we go. The meeting here. I have a task to complete there. Just trying to line everything up. Then we have lunch. And, oh no, I got, oh, look at that. <laughs> That's what I get for using paper make flare and getting it all over my hand. We'll just, it was never there. It was never there. Oh, yeah, I smeared it on a couple other places. It was never there. It never happened. Just pretend it was not there. That's what whiteout is for. It was never there. Okay, so that's what that's going to look like. <laughs> It looks weird because these are not long enough for this this bar. Um, I also want to do. I don't like this on every page. Just drives me nuts. Um, wait, I don't even think I need to wipe that out. I think I can just put this one of these boxes on top of it, and it'll be fine. Dude, I wonder if that's what those boxes are for. <laughs> but they would be a little bit big for, um, they would be too small for the um, normal A5, the normal 7x9 planner. Oh, I'm sure there's something people use those for. But I like that I have a purpose for these boxes <gasps> other than just whatever. <laughs> walkie cut but we'll, we'll, we'll go back to so I think I want to do is like use that as like my mood for the day kind of like work mood because um, I've been trying to track my mood better and then I also want to do I think I am going to use I think it's stencil this here stencil. Um, I'm gonna use this here. This is, these are like raindrops from the clouds, but I'm gonna use it as um, hydration checker, tracker. Of sorts. I'm just gonna do it on that day because I'm curious as if it, it, it would do anything for me. And then I want to do that's going to be inbox zero, and this is going to be um lunch walk. So I mean I could put these in the to-do section, but at the same time I I'm gonna put mood. 
this is for like work to do, it's not just like personal things. And I want to use this area here to kind of journal whatever for the day. So this is going to be for lunch. will be meeting my meeting I don't want to like share that kind of detail um, <laughs> so same thing is gonna go over here um, next Wednesday I'm going to be doing I have a task to complete here There's a, let's do lunch reminder here. I might end up just using highlighters in this section. Um, oh, I didn't realize these were event labels too, like meeting labels. Um, this is not one that I have to attend. So I'm just going to use like one of these little things. This is not a meeting I have to attend, but it's um, like I need to know it when it happened, like for records. So we are going to do the same thing up here there and then Thursday I have a meeting that I do need to attend so that's going to be that one and then I'm gonna use this one at two it's a meeting I do need to attend and then again with the thing up there and then Friday we're good and then Saturday and Sunday probably won't be used because it's my work planner <laughs> yay so that is gonna be that for the week I believe so let's flip back so I'm gonna need to put some um, some bookmarks in here so I could flip back a little bit easier as a one thing about have the TPC planner that I like is that it's got like a dashboard for like the front page is a dashboard for so it's like this page would be blank with a dashboard of like just stuff to do and then you'd have your week spread and then it would go into your dailies and the same thing so that's what I like about it. So you, there's not as much flipping. I mean, you're, if you're on Friday, you still have to flip back several pages, but not like massive like this. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any like ideas or tips or anything like that, please leave them in the comments below. Please leave me a smiley face emoji because it is nasty outside and gross and I need some perk me ups. Um, if you enjoyed this, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye!